Warning, this video contains the following. Mild curse, drug use, paranormal activity, violence, and suicide. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing the mysterious game of Oxenfree. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Hold yeah, on. sorry. Okay, we got a story. So you all moved in? Um. Not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know... She's my stepbrother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Where? No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. <laughs> so, how do you two know each other? Oh, for way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned... Why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so, which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band. So hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Even get a photo. 
Okay, so the game is like, you choose your own story basically, so I don't want to stuff this up too much. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if no. you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet no, up... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case, whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard about your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know... Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. Named after the Hawaiian free. god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year Never under the heard command of Lieutenant before. James Earl. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October yeah. 28, 1943, I hate thinking about it. It, it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. It's very interactive, I'd say that. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Alright, so we gotta catch up with the other guy. I think his name's Ren. Hello, kids. There he is. The, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh, Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what a map. What it was. But it's not I mean it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sound. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy. 
Please don't hurt. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the islands or something. She's been checked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a I can't imagine looking in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Sheesh. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. And from here we jump over, okay, to the beach. Under the cliffs. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Be Deal? cool. Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing. Just yeah. leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah, hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's. Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm... he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh... My mom married his dad, so... Family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's... Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip, I'm with it. Listen to yourself. <laughs> Wait, aren't you all like friends? I'm friends with Nona and I'm downgrading Ren to like a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Hmm. Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! Okay. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. 
Yeah, I think it's just whatever. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start, run. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Mm. Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... All she... right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's funny, I don't know. And Let's Jonas see. is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who do you do the dirty with? Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. Which means, of course, that you'd smother poor Nona with a pillow. Really? Nona? Just heartless. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. It's all right. I'd probably kill me, too. So, Alex's turn? Yep. Ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's Ooh. your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Um, no, no. <laughs> yes. All right. Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, it, uh, I mean, he's he's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with, like, a Native American poem written above it. I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation before. It's, it's none of my business. It is your business. Your family now. So let's hear it out. Why did your parents get a divorce, Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Mm. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. You what? You got a sad you story. Guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. 
Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Can I come? Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Uh, hell yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah, oh. let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never you're ready. John. Oh, what, So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but... Not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could have and you didn't, so thanks. Well, you can make the checks out to cash. We'll have an installment plan. Whatever it takes. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me! Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Bra magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Mm. Delicious. I don't think that's... Okay, so see these little piles yeah. of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Oh, yeah, it's red. Ooh. Holy crap. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. How, how is this, how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this part. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's, like, weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... Static. Satanic. Not what oh. I was gonna say. 
but close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I no, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Jonas, don't! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I think you mean brownie. I think you mean... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this guy... Let's just get this straight. It's not It's not brownies, guys. So we have to follow Jonas into the cave here. And there's weird things going on now. So I think this is when the game starts kicking off. Well... Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Oxen Free Part 1. Now, if you guys want a part 2, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Ooh.